Hi, this is Tossing, and this is my instructional video. Um, if you haven't heard of me, well, I'm Tossing, and I um, am considered pretty good, and I've, uh, you know, I'm pretty well known in Dark Tide, and I, I think I'm assuming, actually, I'm pretty sure I've spent the most time teaching people in game so out of anybody so um when i'm trying to teach you you know the basics just listen you know if you know how the power sh slide like this whatever just listen cuz it all leads to something all right so i'm just showing right now that if you hold on to uh the power sh if you hold on to the buttons, you turn out of control. So if that happens to you, don't freak out. It happens to everybody. You just learn how to control it after time. See, turning out of control if you hold on to the buttons. This is how you you control that. This is how you control it. When I say let go of everything, um, it basically you're just letting go of the buttons you're pressing for like a millisecond and then you continue pressing the next like combination of buttons really fast so turning uh, if you ha if I had to give you a tip on turning um, just turn uh, in your cast put a turn in when they're releasing a war it'll um, dodge bolts and arcs if you're good at it if your timing is right um, this this video is not going to make you amazing it's just it'll tell you that it'll give you tools to be able to get better at the game and um, that's what AC needs is a way to to tell people how to get better so anyway circle strafing this is very important um, you need to be able to do this without even thinking. It is very important because it's a very simple movement and it's I probably use it the most out of anything. Um, because you can use it to dodge, you can use it um, you can use it when you're kit you're using kits, you can use it when you're chugging. It's very helpful. So and you should be able to move it do it that fast. Uh, without even thinking. So here's an example of using it. Kind of in trouble on my half health. Get get in the peace mode. You can use kids, dodge, whatever. Also chug, whatever. Of course you wouldn't be standing still and then kidding. I was just kind of being lazy. Anyways. Circle run dun dun dun. I said dun 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 because I hate teaching this movement but it's very helpful I use it all the time pretty much it's just the run in a circle you can make this circle huge or you can make it really small really close to the guy this I just kinda did it at medium distance Basically, if you don't let go of left before you press up, this will happen. You'll turn super sharp and you won't be able to go around in a circle. Pretty basic. That's the hardest thing for me to teach other people. For some reason, they don't understand um, that letting go of left, they, I don't know, they, I don't know, I don't know. Anyways, this is, I got this uh, movement from melees. It's just a melee movement. I like to use it um, if I think I'm in trouble like instead of starting a cast um, I'll use it like if I think if I start a cast and they're gonna hit me with a war I'll just use it once to dodge a war and then I'll start my cast whatever here's a thing here's an example you know I just did a cast kinda got out of the way and um, got in peace mode and healed up just a kind of a collaboration of everything that we've learned so far.
So circle strafing, if you're not good at it, please go and learn how to do it really fast because you're going to get behind. All right. You need to be able to do it without thinking. Okay. So this tapping up before circle strafe is just a small thing that will, um, that that's huge. That I probably I use this, I I use it every time I cast. That's how important it is. <coughs> so yeah, when you get good at it, just you can run forward. Just see how I'm angling myself to the right or the left of them. That's important. You know why? Because it's the end of the cast. It's how you release wars. And um, if you don't angle it to the right or the left of them, you're not able to run forward. So um, I don't do a very good job, and or I guess it, I'm kind of okay in this example. But um, see the transitioning. You run forward, circle strafe, and then you start the next war, and you. The other direction and it makes your, your cast a lot wider and it keeps you moving so you're able to dodge wars better um, this, so this cast I call the triangle cast because it looks like you're doing a triangle um, basically um, just get good at this cast because you from this cast you can do anything like I said I'm just giving you the tools to um, get better and then you create your own cast from what I'm teaching you. Um, so this is kind of what it should be looking like. See how I I ran forward and circle straight out. I'm not doing a good job. Fraps is just laggy and I don't like using it. But anyways, um, yeah. Instead of just standing there, you circle straight and then start the next direction. Oh, forgot to say this, but um, yeah, there's a lot of information in the word, uh, like in the wording. So if you're not able to read it all, just pause it. I won't hurt my feelings. Also, if you want to just mute me the next time you watch this, that's fine, whatever. But listen to me this time, and then that's fine. <laughs> uh, so the next cast, I like this cast a lot. I still use it. It's um, I call it the L cast. Basically, it's really good because you go alongside of them, so it's hard for them to um, start wars or release war or start casts or release wars because um, they're not facing you. I um, this cast I call the U cast. Basically, it's a finishing move, and um, if you both start wars at the same time. You use it um, to get away from their when their war is released, and then you run in and release the war in their face. So this is the outward circle strafe. I use it all the time. Um, I use this all the time. I just you can use it while kidding. You can do it. Um, it's really helpful in group fights when you're in trouble. Like usually you have a shield out and you're chugging war or you're chugging and you're kidding massively when you're doing that. Um, you can also use the outward circle strafe during cast. I'm just walking through it right now. You can use it to turn towards them to release a war or you can turn towards them to start a, spe start a cast. Either way it's helpful. Um, I don't think anybody's going to understand uh, this movement, but it is very helpful. I use it a lot. So, pretty much what it is is when you're circle strafing, you are able to turn really fast. And so, I use it like if somebody's behind me, I can just turn around like in an instant and start a cast. Or if they get behind me when I'm doing a cast, I can release my war really fast, you know, still get a cast off when they're behind me. So, um, hope you like the video. Uh, just remember that this video is just for, just gives you the tools to learn, uh, the tools to get better. <laughs>